क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन एंड मैनेजमेंट इंट्रोडक्शन फूड इज द बेसिक नीड ऑफ ऑल लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म इट इज वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी फॉर अवर बॉडी देर आर वेराइटीज ऑफ फूड अवेलेबल इन द वर्ल्ड द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ फूड अकर्स इन प्लेंटी अमाउंट टू फुलफिल द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग्स एंड एनिमल्स फूड इज ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम प्लांट्स एज वेल एज एनिमल्स द सेम टाइप ऑफ प्लांट्स आर ग्रोन इन अ लार्ज स्केल इन द फील्ड बाय फार्मर्स दीज प्लांट्स आर कॉल्ड क्रॉप वेरियस सीरियल्स ग्रेन्स वेजिटेबल्स एंड फ्रूट्स आर ग्रोन इन द सेम मैनर ऑल लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स गेट न्यूट्रियंस फ्रॉम द फूड टू गेट एनर्जी इन दिस चैप्टर यू विल लर्न हाउ दीज क्रॉप आर ग्रोन बाय द फार्मर्स इन द फील्ड्स एग्रीकल्चर द साइंस दैट डील्स विद द कल्टिवेशन ऑफ क्रॉप्स फॉर ह्यूमन यूज इज कॉल्ड एग्रीकल्चर अपार्ट फ्रॉम द कल्टिवेशन ऑफ क्रॉप्स एक्टिविटीज लाइक पोल्ट्री एनिमल हजबेंड्री फिशिंग सेरीकल्चर कम विद द परव्यू ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर इट इज सेड दैट एग्रीकल्चर स्टार्टेड अबाउट टेन थाउजेंड ईयर्स गो बिफोर दैट ह्यूमन्स यूज टू हंट एनिमल्स एंड ईट फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल्स द फर्स्ट क्रॉप रेज बाय एंशियंट पीपल वॉज एमो वीट डेवलप्ड फ्रॉम द सीड्स ऑफ वाइल्ड ग्रास लेटर इट बिकेम एन इम्पॉर्टेंट फूड क्रॉप एग्रीकल्चर इन इंडिया अराउंड सेवेंटी टू सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ इंडिया इज एंगेज इन एग्रीकल्चर ईदर डिरेक्टली और इनडिरेक्टली द एग्रीकल्चर इन इंडिया इज ट्रिमेंडसली चेंजिंग विद द एडवांसमेंट ऑफ स्पेशलाइज मशीन गुड क्वालिटी सीड्स हाइब्रिड वेराइटीज ऑफ प्लांट्स गुड एंड एडिकुएट क्वान्टिटी ऑफ मेडिसिन लाइक फंगिसाइड्स इंसेक्टिसाइड्स एक्सेट्रा and superior quality manures and fertilizers not only this the steps taken by the government like loans and providing education in the field of agriculture cannot be left out from the progress of agriculture as an industry in our country india has already attained self sufficiency in certain areas and is exporting food grains to other countries as well crop plants when plants are grown in large volume in the same place it is referred to as a crop the crop grown in a field depends on the season when it is grown crops may be of two varieties depending on the time of the seeds being sown and the harvesting of a ripened crop the two main crop seasons are rabi season and kharif season the crops thus are rabi crops and kharif crops kharif crops are sown at the beginning of the southwest monsoon during the june july and harvested after monsoon in september october maize cotton bajra paddy are some kharif crops rabi crops are sown in the beginning of winter season september october and harvested by march april some rabi crops are wheat gram pea mustard and linseed agricultural practices agricultural practices involve the various tasks taken upon for the process of crop production major agricultural practices involve the following steps preparation of soil sowing adding manure and fertilizers irrigation protecting from weeds harvesting storage preparation of soil preparation of soil involves the series of steps taken up to get the soil ready for sowing the seeds soil needs to be prepared properly as it is the soil that anchors the roots of plants provides nutrients and water to them and also provides nitrogen to the roots natural agents like microbes and earthworms help to keep the soil fertile the basic steps involved in the preparation of soil are loosening and turning of the soil the soil is made loose by turning it over and over again this makes the soil trap a lot of air in it which allows the roots to breathe easily loose soil allows the roots to penetrate deeper and hold the plant more firmly the growth of earthworms and microbes is conducive to aerated soil they make the soil more fertile and fluffy the nutrient rich soil which may be down comes up as a result of turning up of the soil if the soil is loose the fertilizers are mixed more uniformly tilling and ploughing the soil is loosened and ploughed using equipment like plough which may be made up of iron or wood ploughing may be done either by animals or by tractors leveling the tilled soil may have big lumps which have to be leveled leveling is done by crushing the big pieces of soil leveling is done 
using a leveler. It prevents the erosion of soil by wind or water. Agricultural implements. Tilling and leveling of soil is done with the help of various tools. The main tools used for this purpose are plough, hoe and cultivator. Hoe. It is used for removing weeds and for loosening the soil. It has a long rod of wood or iron. It works like a blade owing to a broad and bent plate of iron fixed to one of its end. The hoe has following parts. Grip, handle, rod, bent plate and beam. Cultivator. In modern times, ploughing is done by tractor-driven cultivator. It saves labour and time. Plough. This is made of wood and is drawn by a pair of bulls. It has a triangular iron strip called plough share. Its main part is a long log of wood called plough shaft. The other end is attached to a beam which is placed on the bull's neck. Nowadays, the wooden ploughs are increasingly being replaced by iron ploughs. Sowing Sowing is the process of putting the seeds in the soil. Before sowing the seeds, they should be chosen properly so that only good quality, healthy and disease-free seeds are sown. The seeds should be sown at a proper depth so that the seeds get proper air and the shoot is able to push up through the soil easily. The soil should have enough water for germination to take place. A proper distance should be maintained between the seeds so that they get enough sunlight, air and nutrients. Seeds can be sown either manually or through drill. The manual method of sowing seeds is known as broadcasting. It is not preferred because it does not ensure proper spacing between the plants. A seed drill is a metal tube with a funnel on the top. It is attached to a plough. Properly and carefully selected seeds are fed into this funnel. As the fields are ploughed, the ridges and furrows are formed. Seeds are sown into these furrows through the seed drill. In this method also, the seeds are properly spaced and are sown at the correct depth. In crops like rice, the seeds are first allowed to germinate in the nursery, then they are shifted to the field. This process is called transplantation. Activity Take a bowl and fill it with water. Put some seeds in it before sowing. You will find that a few seeds will float on water, whereas others will settle down. The defective seeds are lighter and hence will float on water. These seeds should be rejected. Adding manures and fertilizers. Manures and fertilizers are added to the soil to make the soil more fertile. They increase the nutrient content in the soil. Manure is an organic compound which is biodegradable and eco-friendly. Manures are obtained by decomposition of plant and animal waste. Some examples of manures are green manures, farmyard manures and compost. Fertilizers are inorganic compounds used to increase some specific nutrients in the soil. They are water-soluble unlike manures. Excessive use of fertilizers may harm the soil. However, this drawback doesn't hold correct for manures. Some common fertilizers are urea, diammonium phosphate, superphosphate, NPK, etc. Manuring is the process of using manures and fertilizers in the soil. Manures These are natural organic substances. They are rich in humus but not in inorganic nutrients. These are prepared in fields. These are not nutrient-specific. They are required in large amount. Fertilizers These are inorganic salts made by human. They are rich in inorganic nutrients but do not contain humus. These are prepared in factories. These are nutrient-specific. They are concentrated and hence required in small quantities. Some natural methods of manuring are given below. Field fallow Field fallow refers to leaving the land as it is without cultivation for some time. The dead plants and animals present on the field are decomposed naturally and this increases the level of nutrients in the soil. Crop rotation Different crops use up different nutrients present in the soil. Crop rotation is the method in which different crops are grown in rotation so that the crop does not find the soil deficient of any nutrient. Wheat and rice use up a lot of nitrogen from the soil. Hence, legumes are grown in the field after rice and wheat 
have been harvested because they replenish nitrogen in the soil by nitrogen fixation. Thus, there is no net loss of any particular nutrient in the soil. Mixed cropping. In this process, two or more crops are grown simultaneously on the same field. The crops are chosen in such a way that the nutrient requirement of one crop is fulfilled by the other. For example, legumes are grown along with rice or wheat. Irrigation. In our country, traditional system of irrigation like the pulley system, moat, dhekli, chain pump and rahat system have been in use for centuries. They were employed to lift water from water reservoirs and supply it to the field for irrigation. Most of them are not in use nowadays because they are less efficient. Irrigation is the process of watering the fields. The methods of irrigation may be natural or artificial. However, rain is unpredictable, thus the need for artificial irrigation arises. Some common types of irrigation methods used in modern times are furrow irrigation. In furrow irrigation, water is allowed to enter the fields through channels or furrows between the rows of crops. This ensures equal distribution of water in the fields. Sprinkler irrigation. In sprinkler irrigation, water is allowed to fall like rain through revolving nozzles. This system is more useful on the uneven land where sufficient water is not available. It is very useful for sandy soil. Basin irrigation. In this method of irrigation, the field is completely waterlogged as in case of paddy. Drip irrigation. In this method of irrigation, water is allowed to fall drop by drop near the roots of the plant. This method reduces the wastage of water. It is the best technique for watering fruits, plants, gardens and trees. Protecting from weeds. Weeds are unwanted plants that grow near the crops. These undesirable plants considered to be harmful as they compete with the crops for their need of sunlight, air, water and nutrients. Thus it is important to remove them from time to time. The best time for removal of weeds is before they produce flowers and seeds. Some common weeds are grass, amaranthus, chenopodium, wild oats, etc. Weeds vary from place to place and season to season. Weeds can be removed either by hand or by spraying weedicides like metolachlor. They are sprayed in the fields to kill the weeds as they do not damage the crops. Apart from weeds, the crops have to be protected from pests and insects also as they cause a considerable damage to the crop. Pesticides like isoproteuron are poisonous chemicals which control the pests. Pesticides kill the pests as well as destroy the eggs and larvae. The best part of the pesticides is that they do not affect the plant. Pesticides must be used with caution otherwise they can cause damage. These may also kill useful insects such as honey bee. In humans, they may cause irritation to skin and respiratory problems. The worst thing is that these get mixed with soil and water and are absorbed by the plants. They enter our bodies through fruits and vegetables which we eat and causes harm. Fruits and vegetables bought from the market often have a coating of pesticides. They must be washed off carefully before eating as these are harmful for our health. Insecticides, for example DDT, is the name given to those pesticides which affect the insects in particular. Insecticides are sprayed through machines. They should be sprayed at an appropriate time and in correct dosage. Rodenticides like zinc phosphide are the pesticides used to kill rodents, for example rats, squirrels, etc. There are other factors which also affect the health of the plant. They are diseases. Rust and smut are diseases of wheat. Blight is a fungal disease in potato. Harvesting. When the crops are ready, they should be cut. The process of cutting and gathering of mature crops is called harvesting. Some tools used for harvesting are sickle, combine or harvester. The grains from the crop are separated by the process called threshing. A machine called thresher is used for this purpose. Combine can do both harvesting and threshing together. The grains separated after threshing have to be removed from the shaft. This is done manually by making use of the wind. This process is called winnowing. 
the heavier grains fall straight while the husk being light falls at a distance in the direction of the wind storage the grains so obtained should be properly dried to reduce the moisture in them this prevents the attack of microbes and pests grains should be stored away from animals and moisture the grains are packed in bags bins and stored storage on large scale is done in silos or granaries extra stock or buffer stock is always maintained to meet uncertain needs of grains during crisis or emergencies in a nation resulting in famine producing crop in high volume to feed the ever increasing population of our country we constantly need to increase the food grain production recently a substantial increase in crop production has come about from using better varieties of crops which have higher yield and more resistance to disease in the future also improvement of better varieties is expected for increasing production of crops this is done by a process called plant breeding breeding means producing offsprings scientists have controlled the reproduction in plants and animals so that they have the required characteristics which make them more useful hybridization is the technique used for developing new varieties of crops by cross breeding of two different varieties by cross breeding a new variety can be made to have the desired characteristics of both the parents suppose scientists want to develop a new crop having some desired characteristics for example high yield and resistance to disease cross breeding between the two varieties is done in order to develop one variety which has both the desired characteristics food from animals people have pets such as cow buffalo dog hen camel etc at home this process of domesticating animals with humans is called domestication for example we get milk from cow buffalo camel egg from hen honey from honey bee etc animal husbandry is the process of breeding rearing and managing animals by human for their use the few important terms used for particular type of animal husbandry are as follows apiculture the rearing of honey bees in large scale for getting honey from them pisciculture the breeding rearing and transplantation of fish by artificial means on a large scale 